Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I am your planetary defense commander, Star Lord New Thor 7 the T, and welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. Did I already say that? I just woke up from the night shift, uh, and for the last year or two and a half, I've been having us on Earthquake and Volcano Watch due to the fact that all the gas giants, including Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, are on the same side of the sun which I've found leads to a lot of earthquakes and volcanoes. And we've had a major 7.7 .7 earthquake happen in Jamaica and a 6.5 slash 6.1 that just happened in the Cayman Islands. And Earth is ringing like a bell as we've had a 4.9 in the Caymans again, some aftershocks in Jamaica, a 5.0 in India, Albania, and um, when the earth is a rockin', you'd better be prepared to be a shockin'. Wait, that didn't make any sense. And I've been sleeping the last two days because the whole December, January thing, I worked my butt off. And I haven't really had time to tell you guys this because I had to work my own self-constitution back up to hand you guys what is bad news. But with Venus conjunct Black Moon Lilith, Mercury retrograde, then Jupiter conjunct Pluto three times this year, and then Venus retrograde. We pretty much got a foo bar slaughterhouse cluster funk shit show starting on January 26th through June 10th. And so it is the 28th. And we've got the coronavirus reaching a death toll of 131. So it is definitely good morning, Vietnam. As I have just woken up from the night shift, ready for the next night shift, and things are getting really wild out there in Jamaica. Dr. Lucy Jones letting us know the 6.5 near the Caymans is almost certainly an aftershock of the 7.7 .7 earthquake. The fault should be 100 plus miles long. Aftershocks show which way the fault runs from the main shock. This is the USGS map showing the Cayman event. And so, uh, yeah, 2020 is quite a year, folks. That Raymond Gale letting us know the 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake, 80 miles of east to southeast, Cayman Brack, and Little, Little Cayman. Earthquake video is damaged from Cayman in the Georgetown Hospital parking lot, as I guess the ground has cracked. And you may, the Cayman Islands may sound familiar to you because that is the place where in 2012 it was reported the super rich are hiding up to 32 trillion offshore and in 2012 the mark the dow jones was at like i don't know 17 thousand and now it's at like almost 30 thousand yeah the, the cayman islands is definitely the super tax haven and the super high joe money place and it's one of the main reasons i told y'all a we're in a class war so to be Republican versus Democrat is just stupid when you got little trillionaires out there. And um, so, yeah, dude, it's strange days. Earthquakes in diver places. We got a major massive eruption that happened in Popocatépetl, uh, the volcano in Mexico that has been one of the most active volcanoes in the world, possibly even in the universe, in the last year and a half. So these are crazy days indeed. You come to Thor News for the hope, and the hope lives. As I've warned people, up into the ninth month, you know, about after the summer, it's going to be crazy, and we are going to be seeing all the old systems slowly fall apart as the media and politics do everything they can to divide the people and never talk about working together to build infrastructure for the future oil shit in the bed um and so we're not even through the first week of 2020 we have the u.s killing soleimani and iran retaliation iran downs ukraine plane trump impeachment russian pm exigns resigns new strain of coronavirus philippines volcano eruption turkey earthquake Kashmir avalanche australian fires indonesia floods Kobe dead, now 7.7 .7 in 
Jamaica that had a tsunami warning, but it apparently did not generate a tsunami. And I got to thank Susan and Lynn because they are two people who have made sure that i have food and water in case a big major event happens and more and more people are are telling me or emailing me or saying hey thor i can feel in my gut something big is coming be prepared and be ready and well yeah that's why i live every day like it is your last And I would definitely give up the he said, she said bullshit conflicts that your television or social media guides you to be emotionally involved in. Man, we got so many problems. We got such so much happening. And so they are taking your energy and they are using it in not good, nice ways, man. We all have to work together because it is just going to get crazier we still got eight more months in the super crazy period where things start to fall apart as the old oil and war divide and conquer distraction and dishonesty system slowly falls apart and so um yeah i don't know man i have faith in jesus christ god and the holy spirit and that whatever happens will happen but free will is real so it is a good time to do what you can to make the world a better place all right and if you didn't like this a i just woke up b eh, i love you guys stay cool god bless everyone